in a rapidly changing world. So confronting, mate. Um, it's real. There's people that have lost everything. Turn to today's show for all the latest updates. Messy, Carl. Um, it's really sad. Obviously, there are thousands yeah. and thousands of people now without homes. I've never in my life seen anything like it. Australia's best breakfast news. After storms overnight and heavy rain in our west today, the showers were concentrated around the coast with a widespread 5 to 20 millimetres. The Manly Ferry having to slow down thanks to low visibility in the harbour, the city looking very wet and miserable for those who brave the hideous conditions. Top temperatures hovered around the mid-20s, reaching 25 in Blacktown, Liverpool, Gosford and in the city. Last night, a slow-moving storm developed west of Katoomba and Picton, dumping 17 millimetres of rain on Blackheath and Campbelltown in less than an hour with more than 17,000 lightning strikes in a 100 kilometre radius of Sydney. Let's take a look at the warnings in place right now. Firstly, there is a storm warning tonight for heavy rain, large hail and damaging winds for the northern rivers, northern tablelands and parts of the mid-north coast and northwest. There is also a warning for heavy rain over the next few days for the mid-north coast, Hunter, Sydney and Illawarra. There is also a hazardous surf warning from the Hunter all the way down to the Eden Coast and that includes Sydney with a major flood warning for the Hawkesbury, Nepean and Colo rivers as well as the Wollumbi Brook. There is a moderate flood warning in place for the Richmond River and Tuggera Lake. Let's take a look at tomorrow in a trough and upper level low. We'll continue to bring that heavy rain, showers and storms across southeast Queensland, eastern New South Wales and Victoria. Brisbane heading for a fine day tomorrow, 31 degrees, cloudy in Canberra with a top of 23, partly cloudy in Melbourne, 23 and staying dry in Hobart, Adelaide and Perth. So we are expecting more heavy rain across the New South Wales coast tomorrow, another 50 to 100 millimetres. The heaviest falls once again expected on the mid-north coast and around Wollongong. Temperatures ranging from a top of just 20 degrees in Batemans Bay up to a warmer 27 in Coffs Harbour and Mudgee, 29 in Dubbo, 28 in Grafton. Sydney will be cloudy tomorrow. There is a near 100% chance we'll see more rain. We could see some more severe storms as well, leading to flash flooding with moderate southerly winds. We are expecting another 40 to 60 millimetres of rain to fall in the city and 30 to 40 millimetres in our west. It will be a little cooler, heading for tops of 23 to 24 degrees right across our western suburbs and a cooler 22 to 23 degrees along the coast. Let's take a look ahead and Tuesday is looking like the wettest day with torrential falls bringing another 80 to 120 millimetres of rain. Then it should start to clear up about Wednesday. Still a few showers around but nothing like the rain that we've already seen. In our west we could see another 70 millimetres of rain on Tuesday, staying mostly dry on Wednesday under cloudy skies and then that sunshine starting to appear on Thursday. Those uh, tops hovering around 24 to 25 degrees. Maybe a few showers as we head into the weekend, but certainly nothing like we've seen in the past few days, Pete. Amber, thank you. Before we go tonight, what's in store on this week's edition of 60 Minutes? Thanks, Pete. Tonight, Bill was large. He's a maverick. That's Pappas. The failed photocopier salesman. Pretty ruthless with a devious plan to print money. Who knew it was such a cash cow? <laughs> He's accused of stealing half a billion dollars. It's a modern day bank heist. And he just might get away with it. He's not coming home, Tom, no. That's tonight after Married. Back to you, Pete. Good on you, Tom, thank you. I will have the late news for you at 10 to 10 tonight. That is Nine News for this Sunday. I'm Peter Overton. I hope you have a good evening. From all of us, good night.